All right, guys, I know where I was going with that. <laughs> uh, my hand. I'm going to be deadlifting today. Leg day. I hadn't lifted in a week. So, and that was, I think that week was back. So, it's, I've been, it's been like probably a week and a half, maybe close to two weeks since I've hit legs. And three and a half weeks since I hit deadlifts because I alternate deadlifts and squats every week. So, anyway, super, super stoked for that, guys. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm doing my training yet, guys. New, new, new thing coming, or it's, I don't know what I'm gonna ask video yet, but I'm gonna be going over kind of how to do like a, a bolt like a pro, and not necessarily like a professional bodybuilder, but like a pro, like a be like yeah, the most effective bolt, right? So I'm uh I'm thinking of experimenting with some rep ranges, switching up my training. No, not 100 sure yet, but uh. Looking forward to getting jacked, getting real swole on this bulk here. May run this bulk. I know a couple of you guys really love for some reason. I don't know why you love when I get fat. I call. I mean, I'm not fat, fat, but I'm pretty fat. You guys like to see me get up like 175, 180 for some reason. I don't know why y'all like to see me get fat, but <laughs> maybe for the food or something. I don't know. Uh, I know a couple of you guys are kind of sad I ended the bulk a little bit shorter this time. But just abs, man, they complete the physique. But they're not the only, you can't just have abs. They, they complete a physique, but they are not the physique. Um, but maybe in this video later or in a new video, I'll be going over, you know, how to get the most out of a bulk. And I, and I may run this bulk a long time, guys. I may get back up to that 180, 185. You know, just because that's when I made the most gains in my career. It's just when I, when I just bolt all the way up like that and cut back down. That's when I you know, made the most drastic change. So, I don't know yet, guys. We'll see. Depends how I feel, you know. Last time I was getting those pain kind of in my lung or chest. I think that was because I wasn't doing cardio and steady putting on weight. So, be smarter with this one. But, uh, anyway, guys, pulling up at the gym here. About to get these shirts done. Check back with y'all in a little a little second now what's up everybody out here under the deck uh beautiful beautiful uh atmosphere out here it's you know it's been raining and stuff all day clouds are wishing no wishing by whipping by i don't really know the right word for that <laughs> but uh super cloudy day super rainy but the, the 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 temperature the air feel is just amazing but anyway get to the point of the video here the main point how to bolt like a pro you know, you really want to start putting on that muscle mass. Um, for me now, I just went up, this is my second week at maintenance. Yeah, just started my second week at maintenance. It's Monday right now, so my weight's coming up though. So what you really want to do to maximize bulking, because I've done it wrong and I've done it right. And now this bulk, I'm going to do it like a pro. I'm going to do it, again, like I say, like a pro. I don't mean like a professional bodybuilder on gear and all that. I mean do it the most effective possible way if you're lifting natural what's going to give you the most gains strength and muscle you know what I'm saying so what you want to do you got to figure out your calories okay you got to figure out how many calories you want to be eating. now I'm probably not going to go over that in this video because that's a whole nother video but if you don't know that comment down below I'll give you all the information you need so say you're eating at maintenance right go up 100 calories not two not three not four you got to be on point when you bulk just like when you cut bulking's not a, a, a time where you can just okay I'm bulking now you know I was, I was cutting I was eating healthy you know and tracking everything okay now it's time to bulk yo let's go get pizza I'm ordering pizza I'm drinking I'm smoking now I'm you know getting the munchies now I'm, I'm I mean candy bars, you know what I'm saying? Now you're eating everything, you're getting milkshakes now here and there. No, you don't do that, guys. What you're gonna do, or girls watch, I mean, everybody. What you do, if you're doing that, you're gonna gain weight fat so fast. Your body can only build tissue, your muscles. It has to build that. Think about a 16 ounce steak, that's one pound. Your body has to build all that tissue inside yourself. So, you only can build muscle so fast. But now the rate that you can put on fat is, I don't even know, it's crazy amount how much faster you can put on fat than you can build muscle. So really, it's just about the, the smallest increments you can go, the better. 
Now my goal for this bulk, and I'm basically, and here's another thing, the longer you can be in a bulking period, the better. Because that's, that's more times you're building muscle, more times you're giving your body a surplus of calories. You know what I'm saying? You're going to feel better. Your, your strength is just going to keep going up. What you want to do, just say like, I'll just use me for example. My maintenance is 2,700 calories. My goal, honestly, I would like to gain like 0.2 pounds a week. 0 0.1, 0 0.2, I would be absolutely happy with that. I know that's going to be so hard, but how, how I'm going to keep that in check, how, how you need to keep that in check, keep doing the cardio. Don't cut your cardio off. You need to keep those calories burning high. Um, and just for your health, you don't want to just, now you're bulking all, oh, all I do is lift, all I do is lift. No. By implementing that cardio, it's going to help your lifting program. You know what I'm saying? It's going to help your body more efficiently pump blood throughout your body to the you know it's going to help your recovery and whatnot so what you want to do now why well, i want to go so so small now here's the wrong mentality to have okay i want to get to 185 and then you just try to get to 185 as fast as you possibly can i did that my first time bulking huge mistake because again you can put on so you're just going to put on fat like crazy and not really gain that much muscle and it's just a waste of time you wasted all that time now when you're cutting you're in a deficit that whole other time, you're not really making gains. As a natural, or as really any lifter, but I guess the juice does it for you really when you're in deficit and all anyway, you want to be in a surplus as long as much as you possibly can. And today, you're watching this, right this second is the youngest you'll ever be. The younger you are, the more effective your body is going to be working, right? The faster you're going to be able to recover, the faster you're going to be able to build tissue. So the earlier you can in your career, be in that surplus, but do it smart. Why I say 0.1, 0 0.2, like really for a month, half a pound would be absolutely perfect for me. Half a pound a month. So now let's look at that. If I'm going to gain 20 pounds, if I can do that, what's that? 40 weeks right there that I can be bulking and only gain 20 pounds. Or look at it in this scope here, gain one pound a month, that's only 20 Wait, I said that. I said that backwards. I said it backwards. Or I, said, I said the wrong uh, thing. Um, so for half a pound a month, and I'm trying to gain 20 pounds. That's 40 months. That's almost a full year being in a surplus. And the whole time, I'm steady. You're steady going to be getting stronger. Steady get stronger. Steady building that muscle. Or look at it like this. If you gain, that's going to be the best. This, you know, now we're going to step back up to the least. The another one would be least. If you gain one pound a month, that's only 20 months. That's half the time. That, you know what I'm saying? That's half the time that you could be in a surplus. Gaining muscle, gaining strength. And then if you go two pounds a month, you only get, you only get 10 months. You, you see how it goes? And if you screw around, you're gaining five pounds a month. You get four months to bulk, and then it's time to cut. Now, what you just don't want to just keep forever bulking is because it's been studies on this, scientifically proven. Fat cells. What? Here's how fat cell. Fat cells here, small. It grows, it grows, it grows until it gets to its capacity size. It splits. Okay, now it's two. They grow, they grow, they grow. They split. It keeps doing that, multiplying, multiplying, multiplying. Now. You can you know, multiply almost infinite, right? But when you cut, even if you're 50% body fat, you cut down like crazy, you're 5% shredded, you still have every single one of those fat cells in your body. They just shrink ridiculously small. And what it was saying, studying stuff, and I've heard other people say like Greg Plitt saying, he used the analogy of like it's an empty closet. What I'm saying is, the more fat cells you have, the easier it is for you to gain fat back because your body's already had it. It's already, you know what I'm saying? Instead of having to split and create another one, it can just grow. You know what I'm saying? So he uses that as a, um, it's the same kind of uh, thing, principle as muscle memory. If you worked out for a while, worked out for a while, had muscle, you stop for a little bit and come back, you gain that muscle faster because your body's already done it before. Uh, Greg Plitt uses the analogy of an empty closet saying so basically you have those those empty fat cells with you for the rest of your life And he says they're constantly basically saying feed me feed me feed me You know what I'm saying? that's what he says so um It's they go hand in hand, you know, I don't even know if he knew about the studies then I don't even know if they were doing studies then smart guy, but so 
you want to the, the heaviest I've ever been is like 183 so that's I'm never gonna get over that again in my life now kind of take that with a grain of salt because I will like right now if I were to bulk up I'd, I'd probably go 185 max that's because at this point in time by the time I get to 183 I would have a lot more muscle on me than I did the first time I bulked you want to be you know it's not trying to gain two more muscle with the fat so as long as you don't gain keep gaining more and more fat so as long as I don't go over that initial amount of fat you know I still have those fat calories or not fat calories I still have those fat cells molecules or whatever you want to call them you know all over my body still from my first major bulk and you know and I wish I would have knew that information the first time I bulked and uh, I, I would probably wouldn't have did it that way honestly or I would have did it a lot slower. I, I bulked up, gained a bunch of weight, had to do a mini cut, and then I started doing it right. Um, but this is the first book I'm going to be doing, and I advise you to do. Like I said, you can get the most, the most, most gains and put on the. I mean, yes, you. Like I said, if you're gaining 0.5 pounds a month, okay, only 0.25 pounds maybe muscle, but you know maybe the only 0.2 pound, 0.25 pounds of fat as well. The leaner you can put on those gains. In smaller increments, the more likelihood it's going to be lean mass, aka muscle. When you're just shoveling in food like crazy, more of it's going to fat storage than the building muscle. So, and when it comes to training, train how you've been training. Basically, if you're training correctly, you just want to make sure you're you're constantly, progressively overloading your muscle. Whether that's more reps, more weight with the same, more reps with the same weight, more weight, you know slowing down the tempo you know putting more stress time and attention on the muscle i believe about cover that all the main thing is do it very very slow buy you a food scale that's just not for cutting you i believe you need that there's people who eyeball but why would you guess when you can know exact and it really doesn't take that much longer it's easy i, I enjoy knowing what's coming in and what's coming out so it's getting dark on me but buy you a food scale find out your maintenance calories just type in BMR calculator, fill all that out, it'll give you, it'll spit you out a, with your exercise and all that, it'll spit you out a number. You gotta need to buy you a, a scale as well. Start eating at that number, weigh yourself every day, divide that by seven at the end of the week, look at your average, and you, you look at the week to week. If you're gaining more than the amount of weight you wanna be gaining in a week, you back off the calories a little bit, 100 calories, you know what I'm saying? 50 calories. You back off, you know, whatever you or 200 depends how much you you need to back off until you find where your weight's sitting around the same thing. That's maintenance. Once you find your maintenance, you're golden. Then you know, okay, I can add this much to gain a little bit of muscle, you know, or drop from here and I'll be losing fat. You need to find that number. That's that's crucial. That's like the number one thing when it comes to the eating calories. You have to know that number. Super important. So the slower the better is basically the gist of the video. Um. And you know reps and all, yeah, don't be going 50s. But I pretty much gained all my mass doing, you know, 15 rep goal days. I've been experimenting, with, and every now and then I would do some tens. Uh, very, very rarely. 99.9 percent .9 of my training has been 15 rep goals. So, you know, I say as long as you're 15 under, you're gaining. You know, as long as you're not doing ones and twos, basically you're going to be gaining muscle. As long as you're hitting this progressive overload. Um, I believe that's it for the video, though. I just really wanted to say that. How to do the do a bolt like a pro? The main thing: do it slow and steady. You know, strength isn't directly correlated. I mean, strength and muscle size are correlated together. That how much it, how much like it's not like if you gain 50% strength, you gain 50% muscle. It's a little bit off. You know, nobody knows the exact correlation. It's probably different for everybody. So, don't. I mean, form first in the gym, perfect form, and then progressive perfect form. And then you're getting stronger like that, you know you're adding on muscle. You, you just know. So slower the better. That's what I'm gonna be doing this bolt. Really trying my hardest. And if you're, uh, you gotta be smart. You gotta be able to adjust. If you're, if you're gaining too fast this week, you know, back off a little bit, a couple hundred calories or something, hundred calories that day. Next day, do extra thing of cardio or something. You know what I'm saying? So that's basically the gist. I probably keep repeating myself. I just want to make sure I'm not forgetting the same thing because this is crucial, crucial information slower basically the better you got to be precise with it like I say bulking is a time to be just as precise as when you're cutting there's no breaks you can't slack on it or it's going to show and you're going to pay the price 
Uh, well, that's what I'm learning as I keep lifting, basically, though. Basically, when you're natural lifting, the whole time you're cutting, it's not wasted time, but it's wasted time for making gains. You're not making really any gains when you're cutting. Your body has been scientifically proven once you're over that newbie gains period. Your body's not actually building any muscle once you're in a deficit. So, you want to make sure you're in that surplus as long as you possibly can be without getting crazy fat. Um, so basically the fattest you've ever been, if you've been super fat, you know, then you have a lot more wiggle room to play with getting up there. But if, you, if you've been a super lean guy your whole time, girl your, your whole life, you know, get up to a certain amount of fat where, where you're comfortable with and then cut back down. And then keep doing that. The longer you can be in a surplus, the better. The shorter you can be in a deficit, the better. Again, because you're the youngest today, so you're going to be building the most muscle and stuff today. So I'm going to end the video here. I know I repeated myself a couple times, but I just want to really make sure I'm getting the point across and uh, make sure I'm not forgetting anything. I believe that's it. If anything else comes to me, I'll come back and add it to the video. Stay happy, stay healthy. Go make y'all some gains. I'm going to see y'all on the next one. Peace out, everybody.